Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video and I have two things to show you today. I am going to demonstrate as a request, somebody has asked me to demonstrate the fact that you can actually take files from the Transformer Prime and put them on to a laptop which I have sat here and I'm going to demonstrate using uh, Polaris Office so the documents that are saved there hopefully I'm going to take them from here put them onto the laptop and prove that they do work on Microsoft Office as a bonus um, I showed you a brief glimpse on live desktop yesterday which essentially gives you Microsoft Office on your laptop what I um, didn't realize at the time was how um, could you get the files that you save on the cloud-based system actually off that system? I thought you might have to pay for that. The good news is you don't have to pay for it. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So, let's get straight into it. If we go to the uh, Prime first, and I'll just show you when I zoom in. I'm going to use applications that come with the Asus Transformer. Uh, so, nothing here has been downloaded or cost anything. Uh, I have three documents here, uh, which you can see there, which I made through Polaris. Um, so if we go, for example, to the PowerPoint one, and then also the actual Word documents, and then the Excel documents. So I have three files here that you can see that I've now created on my tablet, and what I'm going to do with them now is transfer, transfer them over from the tablet to the laptop using a USB stick. So we'll just pop that in there and let the Prime do its business. So it's preparing the external storage and I think that's ready now. So I am going to take the documents from here, copy them and then we'll move on to the storage device itself. I've already created a folder here so we'll just paste them in there so they've quickly gone in and now that's absolutely fine. They should be on the pen drive. So this is where we say goodbye to the tablet for the time being. Take out the pen drive and now this will just require a little bit of adjustment to make sure that we can see the laptop. So the pen drive is now going to go into the laptop. And so, I'll just zoom in here. I'll just put the brightness down so you can see that a little bit better I think. Right, so the pen drive's in. We open up the Prime folder and I'll just try and zoom as far in as I can. You can see that it's recognizing those three files as Office files. So if we open up that, this is a test document, so it transferred over fine. We open up the Excel document, it's transferred over fine. And if we open up the PowerPoint, they've all transferred over absolutely fine. One thing to stress is that it's saving files uh, as uh, 1997 to 2003 Office documents, so it's not DOCX, it's actually uh, DOC files, and the same for PowerPoint and the same for Excel. I can't remember what the file types are for those two, but they are different. Uh, so just bear in mind that you of course, uh, Microsoft Office 10 is backwards compatible, so it's absolutely fine. But if you do save the files on Microsoft Office 2010 and then try and bring them back to Polaris Office, you might have some troubles there. So, do um, bear that in mind, and maybe if you're going to save the files and you know you're going to use them on a tablet, make sure you put them into a compatibility mode for the older Office versions. Okay, on to the second tip. This is on live desktop on my Transformer Prime. Let me just show you that it is a Transformer Prime that we are using there. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to get files off of the cloud onto your computer if you wanted to work on them later. If you click on the documents section, you'll see here that I have uh, a few files there which I've saved on the cloud. So I'll just uh, quickly load up that file. As you can see, again, it's very snappy on the cloud service. So that's the document. I won't show you what the other files are, but just to show you that I do have files saved 
on my cloud desktop there. The file system works the same as if you were on a normal computer. So we can take the uh, tablet away again and now we're going to go back to the laptop and the URL you want to point your browser to and this won't come up very well on the screen so I'll uh, put in a subtitle as well. It is simply files dot onlive dot com and that will take you to your onlive uh, login so you just log in and once you've logged in you will see here that this login is now pointing towards the files that I've saved on the computer on the um, onlive desktop so let's just take uh, this document here And as you can see, well, you didn't see that, but it has downloaded it. Did download it there. I'll just download the other ones as well. Hopefully, that should come up on screen. So, there we are. That one downloaded fine. And that one downloaded fine. So, let's open them up. Unfortunately, on this computer, I only have the starter pack, so this might take a while to load up. But um, while it does load up, that's fairly quick. So, there quickly. Test Excel document was fine. And then just opening up the Word document. So there we are. A clear demonstration that even if you do use things on the uh, cloud, free application that's available from online desk on live desktop, you can actually get them off that cloud environment and put them onto a computer. So again, the application shows that it is a pretty a remarkable set of uh, features you're getting for an absolutely free um, piece of application. So I hope you enjoyed that double um, tip video. If you do have any more requests, uh, please do send them in. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again in another video soon.